You know what I saw this and I'm like, what the hell? Um, Exodus 21, verse 17. The book of Exodus, chapter 21, verse 17. Listen good to this. And he that curses his father. And he that curses his father. Or his mother. Or his mother. Shall surely be put to death. Let's give the Lord a hand. <laughs> you see, me, me, this verse right here, I want this to take place. Because we're not going to do anything to him. The Lord is going to do something to him. This video that you're about to see, it is disturbing. Okay. Now, now, what, what you're about to see is a young man, a demon. This is not a boy. This is a demon. You understand? Kissing his grandmother and beating his grandmother. You see, people like this, they don't deserve to be among us. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Now, play the video. You know what I saw this and I'm like, what the hell? Um, Exodus 21, verse 17. The book of Exodus, chapter 21, verse 17. Listen good to this. And he that curses his father. And he that curses his father or his mother. Or his mother shall surely be put to death. Let's give the Lord a hand. <laughs> you see, me, me, this verse right here, I want this to take place. Because we're not going to do anything to him. The Lord is going to do something to him. Now jump up to verse 15. Because the first thing he did, he was cursing his grandmother out. Now the next thing that followed, this is what this demon did. This is not a boy. That's a demon. Let me repeat myself in case I started. I'm not stuttering. I'm not confused. I know exactly what I'm saying. This is a demon. He's not a boy. He's a demon. Now, come on, read verse 15. Exodus chapter 21, verse 15. Come on. And he that smiteth his father. He that what? He that smiteth his father. He that smiteth his father. Or his mother. Or his mother. Shall be surely put to death. Shall surely be put to death. You see what happened? Because these things, the reason why these laws are written in this Bible is because demonic Israelites were doing this garbage. And the Lord put it in the Bible that this is the consequences when you do this to your parent. You understand? Now, give me the book of Matthew. Let's hear it out of the mouth of the Messiah, Jesus the Christ, our Lord and Savior. Matthew 15, read verse 4. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 4. Watch this. For God commanded, saying, mm. Honor thy father and mother. That boy don't do that for obvious reasons. We can see. Read. And he that curseth father or mother uh -huh. let him die the death let him what let him die the death you see how christ put it 
let him die the death. Meaning what? The people are not, the Lord is, is, is no longer under the Lord of animal sacrifice anymore. Now we are under the new covenant. Who brings the judgment? Give me the book of Hebrews, man. Yeah. Hebrews chapter 10. Read verse 30. The book of Hebrews. Verse 28. Start at verse 28. Yes, sir. The book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 28. Come on. He that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. Read again. The book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 28. He that despised Moses' law. We just read Moses' law in Exodus 21. It's clear that boy despised Moses' law. Because I'm sure many times he was corrected and chastised. He was not listening. He's a stubborn boy. Stubborn. You understand? The only thing that get to him is death. And only the Lord can deliver the type of death that don't nobody gonna believe it. You understand? Read. He that what? He that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. Now the whole world is witnessing this thing. That's why this thing has went viral. Go ahead. Of how much sorrow punishment. How much sorrow punishment? Meaning what? If you thought under Moses the punishment was heavy, you have no idea. Under Christ is worse than you can possibly imagine. You understand? Go ahead. Suppose he, shall he be, shall he be thought worthy who has trodden underfoot the Son of God? That's what you just saw what that boy was doing. And has counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified an unholy thing mm. and has done despised despite the spirit of grace. Come on, man. And has done despised unto the spirit of grace. Come on. For we know him that has said. This is Christ now. Come on. For we know him that has said. Vengeance belongeth unto me. That's exactly right. That's why it says. He that curses father and mother. Let him die the death. Because Christ is the one that's going to deliver that death. No longer is the people going to do it. Christ is going to do it. Read. I will recompense saith the Lord. Mm. And again. The Lord shall judge his people. Guess what? He going to die. The Lord going to the Lord going to destroy him. Understand that? The Lord shall cut him off from his people. Next verse. Come on. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Exactly. He says it is a fearful thing. He better watch his back. This boy better watch his back. Now give me Deuteronomy 21. Deuteronomy chapter 21 verse 18. Because this is a monster. Before you get that, give me second Ezra 5. Is it? Second book of Ezra chapter 5 is 8. Listen good. Second book of Ezra chapter 5 is 8. Come on. There shall be a confusion also in many places. That's why people are confused. What the hell is going on with this? Read. And the fire shall be oft sent out again. Go ahead. And the wild beasts shall change their places. Mm -hmm. And menstruous women shall bring forth monsters. So that's not a boy. That's a monster. Monstrous evil black boys. I think that's the next class. Because we went over monstrous evil black men. Now I'm going to go over monstrous evil black boys. Not only that, I'm going to go over monstrous evil black girls. Because you see black girls like his age beating up their grandmothers too. Yes, sir. Pulling their grandmothers by their hair. We see it. Don't nobody say nothing about it. We're going to talk about it. You understand? Now, Deuteronomy 21. Read verse 18. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 21, verse 18. Come on. If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son. That's exactly what you just saw. That is a stubborn and rebellious son. Read. Which will not obey the voice of his father. Read. Or the voice of his mother. Uh-huh. Or that. Or that. When they have chastened him, when they have corrected him, will not hearken unto them. What's this? Then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him and bring him out unto the elders of his city. What's this? And unto the gate of his place. And unto the gate of his place. What will the elders of the cities do? And they shall say unto the elders of his city, This our son is stubborn and rebellious. Uh. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton. He just eats, sleeps, and poops. That's his job. That's all he does. Because he don't have no job. He don't have no job. All he does is eat, sleep, and poop. That's it. Go ahead. 
He is a glutton. He is a glutton and a drunkard. And a drunkard. Come on. And all the men of his city. And all the men of his city shall stone him with stones. That he shall that he die. That's why it says, let him die the death. Go ahead. So shall thou put evil for, away from among you. You see this. You see how we put evil away from among us back in the day, but now we can't do it because we are not ruling. So now the, the 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 who does it? The Lord is the one that does the judgment now. Go ahead, and all Israel shall hear and fear. And all Israel shall hear and fear. Now, now post the picture of the aftermath. Because they did try to apply this. Mm -hmm. They did try to apply this. Which when I saw it, I like, praise the Lord. The thing is, the Lord has not come in yet because he's not dead. The Lord says, let him die the death. That's what the Bible said. The Bible said what? Let him die the death. So, you see, that's him right there. Let's give the Lord a hand. Yeah, that's him right there. You see, the community effed him up. But guess what? This is, by the way, you would think this is judgment of the Lord. Mm, that's not it. Go back to Matthew 15 verse 4 again. This is baby steps. This is nothing. You understand? Let's see what the Lord says. This is not the judgment of the Lord, by the way. No. The judgment of the Lord is this one. Read it. The book of Matthew chapter 15 verse 4. Come on. For God commanded, say. By the way, for all of you that are mushy mushy, this is the New Testament we're reading. <laughs> and this is Christ the Messiah speaking. Read it. The book of Matthew chapter 15 verse 4. Come on. For God commanded, say. Read. Honor thy father and mother. And are thy father and your mother. Come on. And he that curseth father or mother, uh -huh. let him die the death. You see, the Lord hasn't come in yet. The judgment of the Lord has not been issued out yet. Yeah, you would think, or th no, this is not it. This is the people doing it. When the Lord does it, we will not only see him. Yes, sir. The Mosai said, when we read, he said, let, Christ said, let him die their death. So the judgment of the Lord has not been issued out yet. It's still coming. Understand that. So when we see stuff like this, we're going to go into the scriptures to show you what the hell is going on. You understand? Because what I, what I saw, my God, you know how many times these things are happening in the community? From both black boys and black girls, they be doing this to their grandmothers. Mm -hmm. You cannot make this stuff up. Okay? So I'm going to end the class right there. Okay? All praises to the Lord. Let's give the Lord a hand. All praises to the most high. I hope praise to the Most High. So with that, Israel, we say shalom, Most High, Christ bless you. All praises to the Most High.